So uh, this is the weekly chart of the Spider Home Builders ETF ticker symbol XHB. Uh, we have positive cycle structures starting back here in the summer of 22, when this cycle right here formed a base, which is when we get a positively configured cycle after a negatively configured one. Negative configuration is when the cycle ends lower than where it began, and of course, positive configured cycles end higher than where they began. So since then, higher cycle highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Then um, in this current cycle, I had a very strong move up to the 200% FIB extension level and now backing off from there. Momentum is still positive. However, we show that on our weekly charts with the reversal scout. That's this green and purple ribbon that you see. And we'd like to see that turn purple to give us confidence that the cycle peak is in place, similar to what happened back here in this cycle, over here in this cycle, some of these others in the past. Uh, we do have these blue vertical dashed lines over here on the right, and they represent the weekly cycle timing window. That's a period of time around the ideal cycle trough here when we would expect this current cycle to form a low and then for XHB to begin to move up into the rising phase of the next cycle. And that period of time is June 24th to August 5th. Our current projection is just for XHB to come down to the top of the support zone around $95, but possibly even lower. We'll have to wait and see. Switching over to the daily chart. Um, starting here is that very strong move that we just saw on the weekly chart. Hardly a dip in here at all, except this period right in here when this daily cycle formed its low. So mostly there were just periods of sideways consolidation. You can see here, here, even this is pretty much just sideways consolidation. And now we're into this cycle and um, something is changing. Notice through all of this, that momentum remained positive the entire time, except uh, on the reversal scout here, when this cycle formed its low, the reversal scout went negative for a little while but the slim ribbon remained positive. That's another proprietary momentum indicator. It colors the candles red, green, or gray, depending on momentum conditions. And it also colors the slim ribbon PO, which I have down here. And you'll notice that it was green here throughout and uh, giving many momentum resumption signals. So as I mentioned, something has changed now. Our reversal scout has turned negative. I can zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Reversal scout has turned negative and the slim ribbon has gone from positive to neutral. XHB is threatening this cycle low support. So based on this price action and these deteriorating momentum conditions, I created this resistance zone here using this high up here and the current low. And we would expect rallies up into this area to stall and fail and turn back down. So if XHB were able to hold above this uh, minor 78.6% FIB at about 110.22, it would have repaired itself and we would no longer have a bearish bias. But keep in mind that if XHB continues to move lower, then these resistance levels will also move lower. So in terms of option strategies that we could employ using the current analysis, my preference would be something like a diagonal spread, which is we would have a, a long put out in a later dated expiration cycle, probably the July monthly expiration, and then a short put in a nearer dated expiration cycle. That short put would be able to be rolled several times to keep collecting additional credit, and that reduces our cost basis on the long put. So I will be creating a trade idea video for our level three and four members and demonstrating that on the Tasty Trade platform, how to set up a diagonal spread properly. So if you would like to see that video, please do consider becoming a level three or four member.